what's Mom Tanya Cummings from Mama Tanya's Dynamic Fitness and today I'm coming to you with the new Mama Tanya's cooking show and today I'm going to make um, one of the recipe my friend's mom made that I really really loved and I never had a chance to make it up until not that long ago and I absolutely love it it's called Parmesan spinach balls I'm not sure if she used Parmesan but so Today, you're gonna need, I use the stove top stuffing, just, it's not the best, it's not healthy for you, but it tastes good. And then, spinach, Popeye spinach, and we're gonna need butter, kind of a lot of butter, for this recipe. I, this is my first time trying this one, and Parmesan cheese, and also, we're gonna need six eggs so if the ingredients call for two packages of frozen spinach well mine is big enough for one bag so I'm gonna use one bag and then it asks for onions but I'm not using onions and it says two and one fourth cup of stuffing six eggs, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and a half a cup of melted butter, and I never add, it calls for garlic, salt, and garlic pep and pepper, but I never add salt or pepper to my recipes, unless it's biscuits and gravy. So we're going to, it says to add it all together, so we're going to add it all together. See if Popeye will let me open this pack. <laughs> so we add the spinach. I think it'll be all right because we don't have. It's not all the way thawed. And let's see what else it calls for. Mm, stuffing. So we're gonna add the stuffing. The stove top stuffing has all kinds of ingredients in it, so. It probably doesn't need any other ingredients like salt and pepper and garlic salt. Parmesan cheese. I love Parmesan cheese on just about anything. Pizza and um popcorn. It may sound funny, but my memory I put it on that popcorn one time, and after that I loved it. So, I know we need six eggs and half a cup of melted butter. So I need to melt the butter. I'm going to put that on the stove while I get the eggs. We're going to melt the butter, and then we need six eggs. That does sound like a lot of eggs. I'm going to mix it in my bowl. Does it need to be mixed? And then after that, yes, have McCade help you. The one. Okay, I'm doing something. Two, three, eggs are. There's a lot of eggs here. <laughs> Four. Five and six. Now it says it needs to be uh, very mixed up, blended or whatever. Mix them. I think it says mix well. Uh, oh, it's called beaten. Six eggs beaten. I guess each person has a different terminology for that. Northern, southern. Whatever. Alright. So this recipe I use for, um, sometimes I feel like I want something different. So I will, you know, spaghetti and meatballs is good. And most times I'll have that. Or, you know, spaghetti and meat sauce. 
But tonight, I'm feeling like spinach balls. And I will eat spinach balls as a snack also because spinach balls are really, really good. No, why didn't we walk? After we get the butter in here, we'll put it, make them into balls. I'm cleaning my oven and I um, didn't get a chance to finish cleaning it. And my daughter already put some stuff in there, so the dinner is cooked on the oven. So I'm going to use my toaster oven. I do it in my toaster oven, which I have a big one, so I can cook a lot. And even if I don't cook them all at once, it's okay because. We don't eat all the spinach balls the first time. And I didn't get all the butter melted in here, but it's pretty much all in there. And but, but now I just added the butter, so I'm going to mix it up. And... really well. And then I'm going to make them into balls. This might feel a little awkward because it looks a little wet. And it doesn't feel all that bad. So it's okay. <laughs> but I use whole wheat or whole grain pasta for spaghetti. I like, I will use white pasta every once in a while if it's, um, my family and I, we got rid of, um, white pasta, white flour. We tried to get away with white sugar, but my husband still likes his white sugar, so we can't get rid of that, but we've got rid of all the other white but yes yeah, so that's why we use whole grain pasta <laughs> or whole wheat I prefer whole wheat over whole grain but um, that's whatever you can find at that moment when you're grocery shopping whichever is the cheapest so this is you can make them whichever size you want. I like big meatballs to go in my spaghetti, so that is fine. Mm -hmm. okay. Might not make as many, but you know, I really enjoy the bigger meatballs. So sounds funny, but spaghetti makes the, the spaghetti nice. My kids actually like um, spinach balls. You would not think that they would just because it's made out of spinach and I did not think I would like it but once I tried it I was hooked. <laughs> it's one of those foods that if you don't try it you probably don't, won't like it. But, so. My pictures are Definitely getting sticky. We need to daddy Yes, do, do not do not eat it until daddy gets home. What? We're not eating it until daddy gets home. Mama's making a video. See <laughs> my hands. These, since I am I putting it in my crock, in my in my, put it in the box. Since I am um, putting it in the toaster oven, these are in my baking pan, but that's just what they look like. Alright, let's read and see. I'm not, I haven't memorized it yet, so 
We're going to mix all the ingredients and combine form into one inch balls. Place on a baking sheet and bake at 350 for 20 minutes. And it says this recipe makes approximately 60 balls, but since I like my big ball, the bigger, it's going to be a whole lot less than that. But I will share with you the recipe. And here they are all cooked. They don't look much different. Just a little brown. And they smell so delicious. I can't wait to eat them. And I can't wait to share with you this wonderful recipe. And I hope you all enjoy. Have a good night. Check out my blog for more information.